Hello and welcome to part one of creating uh, the snake game uh, in C Sharp. Now, um, just quickly, if you're not, you know, familiar with the fundamentals of, of C Sharp, such as loops and things like that, uh, I would recommend going to Google and finding out more things about them um, before you do take this tutorial. But um, yeah, it'll it'll definitely be make it a lot easier. Um, so let's just get started on this. Um, so part one, we're just going to create a snake class um, which will hold all its information and uh, by the end of it we should be able to just draw the snake up onto the screen. So we'll just start by starting up Microsoft C Sharp 2010 and creating a new application for it. And we will name this snake game and create it. Right, so it comes up with our form, uh, which is very familiar. We'll click on the form, and we will uh, we'll just rename this Snake Game, and we will set double buffering, which is on the right hand side as well, uh, to true. Excellent. Now we'll go into the events. Um, panel and we'll add two events um, we'll add the paint event which is the most important at the moment <laughs> and we'll add the key down event so we won't we won't worry about this in this tutorial but we'll just put it in there for for later's sake and we'll also add a new class which will be called snake dot cs sweet um right so we'll just go into our snake class and we'll add a new library into it called system dot drawing because we're going to be drawing things and we'll make this public excellent so to get started we'll create um, a variable uh, rectangle which is an array and we'll also create uh, a solid brush which we're going to use to draw the oh, we better give this a name <laughs> snake rig we're also creating a solid brush um, so we can draw the snake um, and we will also give it some initial values such as X Y and the width and the height. Excellent. Um, and from here, we're going to create a constructor called public snake. Uh, we're not going to feed it any parameters, we're just going to assign these variables some values. So the snake rec. Um, is equal to new rectangle rectangle and we'll give it a length of three for starters and uh, we'll assign the brush to have uh, a color of blue I mean, you can have whatever color you want it doesn't really matter but blue is easy um, and we'll also assign, assign x with a value of 20, y with a value of 0, um, and the width can equal to 10, and so can the height. Excellent. So we've pretty much uh, set up the length of the snake, the height of it, and its initial starting position. Um, now we want to uh, create a for loop which is going to um, give the values to the whole snake. So uh, if we go for an i is equal to zero, i is less than the snake rec dot length i plus plus. So yeah, we'll we'll iterate through the snake rectangle. 
set to i is equal to uh, new rectangle and we'll just put in these values x, y, width and height so it's all pretty easy and lastly we'll just put in x is equal to well minus and equal to 10 so that it gives the snake some actual length when we draw it um, and that's what we'll move on to now is just creating a method which will allow us to to draw the snake so we'll name it draw snake and it can have a parameter graphics okay so from here we want to make a for each loop um, you could use a for loop if you wanted to. It's no real buggy. Um, so we'll just go for each rectangle rec and snake rec. I just think this way is a bit more cleaner. Um, and then we can go paper dot fill rectangle in the brush we created earlier and same with the wreck and there we go um, pretty simple pretty quick um, and now all we have to do is we'll save that and we'll go back into our other our form one and create some variables for here so graphics paper and we want to call the snake class. So let's put a new snake. And simply just go down to our form one paint, um, assign the paper variable with um, our event graphics, and just simply call our snake method of draw snake and give it paper parameter and we should be finished so if we quickly run that snake should be up on the left hand side there it is just chilling there so that's good yeah like I said it was pretty simple um, but we're just setting up the initial initial steps for it so um, since this is done next tutorial will be on getting the snake to move around the screen um, with user input and things like that which is a bit more exciting so Yep, um, thank you for watching and